Um, well, you know, it's tough to lose close games. It hurts. Um, we talked uh, um, as a team the other day, though, that um, I'm pleased to be in a situation where um, we're playing games that matter. And obviously, every game matters. But we're playing for home court advantage in the playoffs, playing for seating position, because um, we know we can beat teams. And when you get yourself to that point, the losses hurt a lot more. You know, when you're losing and you're not supposed to win and you, the team drubs you, you know, you get a little numb. This team has gotten to the point where they, they know they can win these games. And when you have one that you could have won that gets away, it stings. Um, but that helps remind you that you're alive. And it's what makes uh, playing sports and competing so great that uh, you get to balance that out with the, the joy of uh, winning. So um, seeing Davidson celebrate at the end of beating LaSalle after the, uh, the drubbing we took last year um, says that we're doing something. I, I, I'd rather be winning, but doing something. Questions? Uh, Kaylee, you had a, another double-double, uh, 11 and 11. Um, what, had, especially you know, down, down the stretch, um, in this season, it seems like the team has, has found its footing and every single game is competitive. What is it about how this team has grown, not just from last year, but also just through the course of this um, I think it's the fact that the team has really gelled. So, like, in the beginning, it's kind of like you don't really know how everyone plays, so you have to kind of observe the game by game. But I guess now we all know how, like, we play. So it's like, oh, Shalina likes this when I throw it in, or Amy likes this type of pass when I throw it to her on the, on the wing. So it's just knowing each other, like, that turns over into the game and how well we do. Now, the three quarters of the game, you guys were in control and playing very, very well. Most game you talked about why you weren't playing well, but in the time that you were playing well, what did you see that you were really happy with? Uh, and, and I'll tell you, even even down the stretch and, and, and losing in overtime, um, today's game was the, 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 the officials let us play, both teams. That's been a disaster for us all year. If the game isn't called tight, we get shredded. And what I saw was us fighting the whole time and not, you know, coughing up possessions because, you know, there's a lot of contact and being strong. And so I was really pleased with that. Um, you know, we talk about this all year. We keep going back to the, the Navy game and the Ryder game. Like, we just got bullied in games early on. And we didn't get bullied today. And uh, we had a response. And so I'm, I'm really pleased that uh, – we're learning to play through contact and play through physical plays and, and dish it out a little bit as well. Um, you know, it, before you know, I felt like we were getting, you know, bumped around and jostled and we weren't doing any bumping and jostling. Now, you know, if they're going to, you know, let the game happen, we're responding and playing well. So I was pleased. And I, even in the times when we lost, you know, the lead and, and they won in overtime, I still felt good about it. I mean, Susie Rodigan made some big plays. I mean, that that's... So he made some tough, tough shots, and uh, you know, hats off to her. Shalina, you know, this uh, your, your last home game uh, at LaSalle. What has it meant to you to to play here in your hometown and, and have the career you've had, where you're you know on top of the leaderboard in the record books? Um, it's been an honor, honestly. LaSalle is amazing. Um, I just am very grateful um, of everything LaSalle has paid paid for me, everything it's taught me, and. Um, I'm just happy that I was able to come here and co um, continue my basketball career at the collegiate level and um, be able to have my family come out and watch and be close to home and playing a big five against people that I know I've been playing against since I was in high school. And it's just, it's been really fun.